uh, Professor Magawa, and as uh, much as uh, we respect him, we also have to tell him the truth. That uh, in preparation for the reopening of schools, we have not factored in the issue of people with disabilities. We know the Ministry of Health protocols. One of them is sanitize, keep social distance, wear a mask at any given time in public, and so on. Now, I want to ask Professor Magoa, if there is a child on a wheelchair, and there is somebody who is supposed to push that child, what is the social distance between the child on a wheelchair and the pusher? If we have to wash our hands, are the wash hands points accessible to persons with disabilities? Are they low enough for those on wheelchairs and those of short stature? We also have to put on our mask, even during class time. Uh, remember that uh, the deaf, uh, during practical lessons, of course they will be practical, but then they will have to read the lips of the teacher and the lips of the lab tech and the lips of their fellow uh, students. How will they be able to read the lips under mask? You know, in Europe, I have seen transparent mask. Uh, are we really, have you prepared some transparent mask for those with hearing impairment, the deaf in Kenya? Or we are so busy preparing documents for BBI? Or we are so busy preparing for the referendum? Or we are so busy for verifying signatures to an extent that we forget pertinent issues, especially for our children with disabilities. Have we really factored in the issue of accessibility to under the trees by children with disabilities, those on wheelchairs or those who are blind? You know, have we factored? You know, Professor Magoha, every tree is not like the Mogumo tree conserved by Uhuru in Westlands. Some of our trees in our territories, like near Masai Mara, are home to wild animals, like snakes. They are homes to leopards. Have you really factored such trees that are in Baringo, that are in uh, northern Kenya, that are in uh, schools next to uh, uh, Amboseli Game Reserve? Have we really fac factored such issues, especially when it comes to children with disability, who may not be able uh, to run away? in case of emergency of those uh, human-wildlife conflict. And as a member of parliament representing persons with disability in Kenya, I have not been consulted even a single day by the Ministry of Education. I have also inquired from the National Council for Persons with Disabilities. They have never been consulted by the Ministry of Education. So. What, what, what is this about a professor of know it all? A professor who knows everything. While we are in this pandemic, the Ministry of Education have not consulted any person with disability or organization for person with disability or a leader of person with disability. The Ministry of Education have not taken any step to try and console them. What is wrong with this Ministry of Education? Why do you have the National Council for Person with Disability? It's because on matters of disability, they can give advices. Why do we have leaders representing persons with disability? Children with disability are suffering. We are going towards the exam. You are instructed that there will be digital learning. Digital learning to which extent? Children who don't access electricity. But even there are those children with disabilities who cannot access the digital platform. I saw a TV, a TV program that was uh, purporting to teach our students. What about that child who is blind who will not see that TV? Did you factor in the issue of that child? What do we assume? I have received calls from every special school, from integrated schools which have persons with disability. They don't know how to handle these persons with disability. I have been like a consultant advising them I have told them to look for transparent masks for people who are deaf. Where will they get in this country? It is nowhere. It is available in Europe. 
It is the duty of the government to make sure that they are available. But then, <laughs> you know, we are so busy. You know, we are so busy. Yeah. And you know, 2020, as a year, I've really battered us a lot. There was a lot of bad moments in uh, 2020. The locust invasion, the Al-Shabaab, the floods, the drought, um, lockdown, cessation of movement, um, um, coronavirus itself, uh, BBI, you know, reggae, all of them were bad men. I think this year, 2021, is still too young. And it's still, there's still time for us to consult, to make sure that children with disabilities are also catered for.